Okay, so welcome back to the next video in the DIY Aquarium Controller build. This video is about installing the software onto our tweaked Raspberry Pi that will run our equipment in the aquarium. I've chosen to go with a, a piece of software that's already made. It's open source by this wonderful guy named Ranji B. If I'm not butchering his nickname there. Uh, he's released it to the community open source over at the Reef to Reef forums. So I suggest if you're going to try this, you sign up to the forums, you know, bookmark this this thread. It's got 536 pages in it, so there's it's very active, and the creator is still active in it. There's a lot of people supporting it. I'm one of them. I've contributed to this thread to help make this a an awesome system, free system, open source system for everyone to use. But to get this onto our Pi, we got to do a couple things. Uh, you can put it on there directly if you've got the ability to read the Raspberry Pi SD card uh, Linux partition, which is an EXT4 file system. Uh, Windows cannot see those files natively. You'll, you'll have to either install like a virtual Linux box or a dual boot system or some kind of way to. Uh, put the Raspberry Pi, uh, Reef Pi software on the Raspberry Pi in the Linux section of the card. I'm not doing that, I'm doing it through the PuTTY. Uh, so we're going to have to bring up PuTTY again and we gotta get our Reef Pi software downloaded over the internet because we're connected Wi-Fi. We also have internet connection on our Raspberry Pi. We're gonna download the Reef Pi software onto the Raspberry Pi and then we're gonna install it. So once again, we pull up PuTTY, we put in our Raspberry Pi uh, host name, which was Frag Tank. Open that Pi, and the password is that. So to get the information for the software, it's over at uh, GitHub. So uh, Randy B has put the all the software over on GitHub. Uh, to get the information for the file names or to download it, we go down to Releases, and you're going to see a couple of versions here. Uh, the ones we're concerned with are these. If you're using a Pi 3, you're going to go with this one. We're using a Pi 0, or I'm using a Pi 0, so I'm going with this one. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is I need to copy this link location. So this will copy the address for this file, and we're going to download that to our uh, Raspberry Pi here. So to do that, we're going to type wgit-c, you'll see in the instructions here, and then to paste the link, we're just going to right click, and it'll put the link location there, hit enter, does its thing, it's quick, done. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, and, and that depends on your network speed, is we're going to do a sudo dpkg-i to install that file that we just downloaded onto our system. So this is the uh, command to install the file. We need the name of the file that we just downloaded, so I'm just going to highlight this, copy, paste. It's going to do its thing. Shouldn't take very long. It's pretty, it's, a, it's a small piece of software, and it's so feature rich. It's a, it's amazing. It's very good. So we're all done there. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to reboot our Raspberry Pi and then log into our new aquarium controller software. So we're just going to do a sudo reboot and that'll kick us out of our putty session. Say okay, thank you, see you later. And now we're going to give the Raspberry Pi a section just to reboot and we're going to connect to it with some kind of network connected device that has a web browser on it. Uh, you can use a tablet. I usually use an Android tablet when I connect to my controller to tinker with it. You can use a computer, you can use a phone, you can use a PlayStation, <laughs> you can use whatever you want that can connect to the network that has a browser. So I'm just going to do it on here to show you. Uh, we named our Pi Frag Tank and so we're going to connect to there and there we go we've got the login screen to the reef pi the default username and password is reef-pi reef-pi 
pi, same thing. Hit enter. No, I don't want to save that. And we're going to be greeted with the dashboard of the Reef Pi. On here, as we add modules and components to the aquarium controller, uh, we will configure the dashboard to display those at, at, when we log in. So when we log in, you'll see like temperature monitors, equip, float switches, outlets, all that kind of stuff. And this is just kind of like your basic overview graphs and whatnot that we are going to tweak as we add more components. Right now it's just kind of blank. You may get an error message when you first log in, just ignore that. It's just because your dashboard might be looking for something that isn't there. Uh, to, the first thing we do want to do is, is do a little configuration on our ReefPy software to get it ready for the uh, modules that we're going to be adding. So we'll go do the drop down here, go over to configuration. Uh, you can change the name of your ReefPy here. You know, it might be a good idea to change it here to like frag tank again. Sure, why not? Uh, and then, <clears throat> you know, you're going to do equipment. These are the capabilities of your Reef Pi. Uh, this is for LED lighting, you know, equipment, lighting, temperature, uh, doser. I'm not going to be doing a doser, but I will in the future. Um, then, camera, you can add auto top off timers. So, when you click these options off, it basically gives your Reef Pi the functionality, the coding within the equipment here, and then you can go to it and modify it and set it up when you plug in those pieces to your controller. And uh, once we change the frag tank name, we're going to go over to the admin. We're going to reload it. Are you sure? Yeah, just do it. The reload just takes a few seconds, and then uh, you should see some name changes there. Oh, what did I not do? Oh, I forgot to hit update. So, drag tank update min reload. Okay. And refresh the browser. And there we go. Now it is saved. So now our, our thing is called frag tank. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to change the password in our Reef Pi uh, again. You know, oh, here it is credentials, username, uh, Reef Pi, Reef Pi. Oh, this is just to change the password if you want. So I'm just going to update that. There we go. That is your Reef Pi all set up, ready to go with the operating system and the aquarium controller software. The next video is probably going to be adding some float switches, and then we're going to do the temperature monitor, and then some relay controlled outlets. So, yeah, on to the next one.